Hey, what's up, guys? This is Starscream's Ghost just shooting a quick review for Transformers Beast Wars Razor Beast. Razor Beast was a basic class flip former from the uh, original wave of Transformers Beast Wars. As you can see, he's a, a red warthog. Um, he's a cute little guy. I like him. Reminds me of Pumbaa from The Lion King. Uh, not much articulation to this guy in his beast mode. Just uh, these are pegged in with ball joints, but they're really limited to a swivel due to the way they're molded. Uh, and that's for each appendage. Um, but, yeah, he's a, he can be a little expressive fellow, but not a lot of movement. Um, sometimes I have a little trouble with his uh, mane back here falling off, but it stays on decently enough. Um, transformation is really simple on this guy. You know, you just kind of pull the tail a little bit and he explodes out. But uh, before we get into that... Here he is compared to another Beast Wars basic class flip former. This is Armadillo. See how they stack up next to each other? Pretty massive armadillo, but the Transformers world is full of nonsense. Uh, real quick, just a demonstration of how this works. You uh, just pull up on the tail, and he explodes open like that. And usually, it'll open up all the way, but that one <clears throat> didn't really work all that well. Maybe I can show it again. Hmm. Well, he's getting almost there, and then just pushing the rest of the way. And uh, to clean him up a little bit, I like to fold these legs back. You gotta unpeg these arms to unlock their articulation. And inside this main piece that uh, you don't have to take off, it can stay pegged in back here throughout the transformation. It won't, it won't hurt anything. But an added feature inside the main is a little twin-barreled blaster that becomes his weapon in his robot form. I always thought that was pretty cool. Kind of droops a little bit sometimes. Uh, it's not doing it now, so that's... Oh, oh, there it goes. Anyway, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, standing him up can be a little bit difficult, but it's not the hardest thing. His armor's blocking the light. But that's because my light's not good. Spent too much time trying to get this guy to stand. He has really tiny feet and no, uh, no not enough ankle support. It, it really looks like there could be, but this backpack's just pretty ginormous for such a little guy. So getting him to stand can be a chore if it's not directly up and down and if he's holding his gun or whatever. I hate that shadow. But uh, real quick, just flipping open his, his little buddy here, Armadillo, for a size comparison. Because there's just going to be one shot. One straight through. There they go. In robot mode, they look about the same size. as They're both basic class figures. Which 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 were really nice. The, this whole line has a lot of nice, really, really cool um, ideas and concepts for the basic, basic class offerings. Uh, one more size comparison before we wrap things up here in Energon Toe Line. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out Transformers Beast Wars Razor Beast. And we will see you next time.